Don with the Prepping Team, another episode. Today we talking about quail, we talking about uh, self-sufficiency, we talking about growing our own meat and being able to sustain ourselves in these last days. Um, uh, with me I have... Mel. Hey, what's going on Mel? How you doing? So let me ask you, what you think about this uh, self-sufficiency, you know, we got the bird flu or chicken flu or whatever, poultry flu going on right. in the grocery stores and the major vendors. What you think about that and how that correlates to us in these last days dealing with uh, these quail? Well, I think that this quail program could not have came at a better time because as you guys know, with the news and with everything that's going on, you already know that they're trying to raise these prices and you already know the economy is going to collapse and with that, food prices are going through the roof. So with this quail program, we're able to actually um, produce our own meat as well as eggs. So that right there in itself can knock a big chunk off your grocery bill. Right, 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 right. Not only independence. It, exactly. Right. So with that, let's dive into it. So tell me what we're looking at, man. What are we looking at? Self-sufficiency, I know that. Right. But tell me what we're looking at. So right now you're looking at about 45 quail right here in this aviary. And the reason why I picked this uh, particular habitat, as you can see, they're pretty much doing what's natural to quail, uh, that what quail would be doing in the wild. With that, the egg production is higher because they're more relaxed. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So that's what uh, that's why I decided to go with this particular habitat right here. Okay. So with that being said, uh, uh, how many eggs you get uh, in a regular day? So on a regular day, I can get anywhere between 12 and 14 eggs a day. Okay, 12 to 14 eggs a day. That's yes, almost sir. like 70 something over 80 eggs a week. Exactly. When I came back from uh, a vacation, I actually had 75 eggs in here collected because I wasn't here for about a week okay all yes, right sir. all right so that's uh that's a that's five times the amount of protein 72 of them exactly and i and they all were free wow <laughs> okay so we're going beyond meat at this point exactly okay see we're looking at the incubator uh tell me tell me how many of these can hold and tell me the whole setup here okay so this particular incubator is called a brincia incubator ovation ex um i actually was able to pick this up from walmart for about 400 bucks. Now, the reason why I decided to invest in one of these is because this can hold up to 110 quail eggs. Now, what you see in here now is 72. And the reason why um, it's only 72 because previously I showed you guys, or I told you guys that um, I had 75 eggs in here back from my vacation. Guess what? These are those eggs. So guess what? The cycle continues. As I process those for meat, I raise new quail up. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I think, I think, I think we people just went. I think that went over a lot of people's head. Mm -hmm. So now you just took seventy-two eggs and had the option to turn them e either into um, eggs, and uh, you could use it for in the kitchen, or now you're using them to produce them for meat. That's correct. That's exactly correct. So we got a couple options here. All right, all right. Let's let's continue. Okay, so we go from 72 eggs, right. having the option to either go with the meat or the incubation. So how, what's the wait time? So wait time in incubation is approximately 17 days. 15 days, um, once you hit 15 days, you will take the eggs out of the egg turners. All right, because when you're dealing with quail eggs, you want to turn the eggs at least three times a day. You take them out of the egg turners and you place them on the floor 
of the incubator and then you wait about two days or maybe even a day and they start to hatch so once they hatch boom where are we going now once they hatch after they dry off completely you want to have your baby chicks in something called a brooder all right this top portion what we're looking at is what you call a brooder now what makes it a brooder is it has a heating element that i don't have connected right now but it has a heating element up here to keep the chicks warm at about 99.5 degrees and they will stay in here for approximately a week and a half okay so after that week and a half, where do they go now? After, after the week and a half, depending on how many I have up here, they will um, have outgrown this top portion. So now I will move them down here to what you call a grow out pen. Now, what are they growing out for? To get ready to be moved back into general population with the adult quails. And they will stay in here for probably another week. And at two and a half weeks, they'll be in general population with the adult quail. All right, so Mel, tell me what we're looking at. I see we got a quill in your hand. Mm -hmm. uh, I see that uh, he has no patterns on his chest, so that would make him a male, right? Exactly. So, okay, so uh, so basically we're gonna process a quill, right? Exactly. Okay, so how hard or easy is it to process one? So to process a quill is fairly easy. Um, easier than anything I've ever processed. It's fairly quick, um, as the people are gonna see here today. And a lot of times, um, what you want to do is you want to pick out your smallest males that you have in your pen. You want to leave your females for egg production, but get rid of your small males so they don't breed that into your uh, existing flock. Okay, okay. All right, so you're going to go ahead and process it. Uh, yeah. You know what? You do the honors. You want me to do it? Yeah, yeah, you do the honors. All right, I do it. Okay. All right, all right. This brother put me on the spot. Damn. All right, so... I guess what I'll do, I'll paralyze him. I'll grab him behind his neck. And you'll hear a pop. So his... Damn. So we're draining him. Cut his wings off. Legs off. Try to cut him right at the knuckle. Right where his wings go at. We'll go in and pull the skin off. Them boneless, I mean skinless. So, with that, we'll grab the uh, key passing the scissors, we'll split them down the middle. Cut his spine out. Talk about fresh quail. All his innards. Yep. And we'll take a quick pause to uh to uh rinse this out real quick. Get all up next to his rib cage, get all that out. There you go. Right. 
All right. Thanks for watching this episode of the Prepping Team. For uh, if you're interested in the products used, check the description uh, for the links below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.